Boom, we're back. And you've seen me take on cocky YouTubers like Carson, <laughs> Black Khabib. You know he was in trouble. You know he was in trouble, dog. And even judokas. But today, I have a brand new challenger. I'm going up against a wrestler. No, 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 an actual wrestler. Meet Ryan, a man who loves to wrestle with other men on the beach, has the worst trash talking skills possible. Uh, be sure to pack your sunscreen. We have this thing here called the sun that you clearly haven't seen in a while. And he actually says, my guillotine suck. I put him out to the test today where if I win, he has to wear my sweaty rash guard and admit defeat. But if I lose, I have to give him free gear. Let's see how it went. As we get into the round, I have to point out that I am wearing a rash guard with my face on it, and on the front it says, you've just been spangled. And if I can guillotine Ryan at least three times, I'm gonna make him wear that sweaty thing. Speaking of guillotines, he tries to hit a super duck on me and immediately puts himself into one. It's a really questionable game plan, but what else would you expect from a wrestler? He's like five seconds in the round, and the first thing he thinks is to put his head in my armpit, knowing that I love the guillotine choke but he is doing a nice job by putting a knee shield in between us, separating my hips from his. By pushing against me, he's creating just enough space where I can't use my hips to push harder on the choke and force the tap. So great job by Ryan by initially fighting off this guillotine, but look at the clock, we've just started the round. He does try standing to get out of it, but I've got the grip of a dementia patient. His head is coming home with me one way or another. Honestly, this is the W so far. <laughs> Come on, Tyler, so you can do a fucking guillotine. <laughs> Ryan's talking a big game despite being underneath another man, but he tries to fix it by doing some wrestling, since that worked out so well for him before. Instead, it just gives me his back, and I have yet to throw on my hooks, but I've got him right where I want him. Because I'm able to trap his wrist, this gives me an easy way to sit up to my knees. Going to my knees instead of taking the back is a tactical move because I'm able to start cracking his turtle. This is a great dilemma because he either has to give me his back and hooks or he has to let me go to the front head. And then of course I can lock up another guillotine and I start going to mount immediately. Because I have my leg over his shoulder, I'm able to switch to an arm out guillotine, which puts the entire blade on my wrist across his neck, which is a tighter choke and deeper one, which will have Ryan feeling like he has some serious lockjaw if he doesn't tap to this. After getting my ass over his shoulders in a full on choke, he has nothing else he can do except for tap to the guillotine. <laughs> that guillotine dilemma where he either has to give me his back or give me the front head plus choke is the same thing I cover in my instructional coming to you November 15th. If you want to choke some cocky wrestlers, make sure to put in your email on my website to be the first to know. Now Ryan's hard at work trying to crack this puzzle, but the truth is I know a little bit of wrestling on my own, so when he's able to tie up and he goes for the knee pick, I can easily whip him around by just using an overhook. He quickly comes up for his own guillotine, but uh, nah bro. Not today. Scared of doing some wall wrestling for my extensive MMA career, he gives me some space, which is actually a great setup because he's a perfect entry to start shooting in for his next attack. And yeah, by his next attack, I meant mine. I don't care if it's Jordan Burrow shooting a double on me, I am going to lock up a guillotine on them. Thankfully, it's not a gold medal shooting on me, instead it's just Ryan. As I'm working to cinch up this guillotine while also passing the guard at the same time, he's able to hand fight and free his neck. But I'm still in a very strong position where I can use my hips and squat strength to put that pressure on him. Ryan's doing a great job using frames, so I have to adjust my game by using the crown of my head to go straight into his chin. The second he pushes back into me since I've been pushing so hard, I'm able to use my hand to lock up another guillotine, this time locking up a chin strap. Ryan is fighting for his life trying to keep that half guard locked, but once I'm able to start shimming my knee out of there, he's in a world of pain. I start going over in the mount, and even though he can catch my shin a little, it's too late, and I get another guillotine on him. How much time do we have? The reality is starting to settle in for Ryan, where he has four men's left, but I only need to spangle him one more time. The wrestling approach clearly isn't working for him because he's on the defense the entire time, so he tries it again. With the same tenacity as a Jehovah Hova witness trying to get to your door, Ryan shoots another double, again ends up on bottom, and now he's fighting off the front head guillotine all over again. They say it's considered insanity if you try the same thing multiple times and expect different results, but the truth is it's just a picture of Ryan in the dictionary. Trust me, go look it up. The battle going on right now is I have to clear Ryan's knee shield. He's using this to push me away to reduce the choking pressure. I need to get it out of my way to increase the choking pressure. But he ends up pushing too much that can easily pass into side control. However, I lose the angle of my guillotine then he regards as I was trying to readjust to get into the choke again. Because this guy says my guillotines are trash, I'm only interested in one submission on him. I do have to give credit where credit is due, he's doing a nice job keeping me at bay by pushing me into headquarters, a position I don't normally pass from. 
However, I have my hand on the back of his head, and even if I don't pass, I can still use this to abuse his posture and shove him into the front head, which we all know is not a good spot for him. Like a moth to the flame, my hands go over his neck and I'm feeling happy throwing the leg over until I lose the grip on the spin. This does give me a pretty easy and nasty access to a different submission, the Darce Choke, but I have to remember, if I Darce Choke him, that isn't going to make him wear my rash guard at all. The only way I can win this bet is if I finish him with a guillotine. So I use this as an excellent transition to make him posture up, fall back onto an arm and guillotine, and I'm in the same spot as before, however I'm already past his legs. I switch to an arm out, bring the elbow over his shoulder, and he's going to the dark place. I'm going to put this guy out until he decides to tap, and I win the bet. <laughs> Make sure to stay around to the end to see Ryan admit defeat while wearing my sweaty ass rash guard. Had I lost, I would have had to give him some of my sponsored gear, but no way would I concede to a man with a mullet. Now I can chill a little bit, and Ryan gets a good front head on me, so I fall down to try and flip him over, but he actually uses this to pass into side control. I need those shorts. I'm side control right now. But are you going to like do anything with it? Looks like, <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he is feeling like he's a so Ryan gets to a dominant position over me for once, and the first thing he goes for is a guillotine. You must be kidding me. I know exactly how to defend this. This is again another thing I cover in the instructional is how to defend the guillotines, so if he thinks he's going to be able to throw me into one, he's completely delusional. At least from here we can all get a really great view of just how ugly that rash guard I'm wearing is, and it's about to be over Ryan's body, making this victory so much sweeter. Eventually I pop my head out because I had great posture driving into him, and as he opens the guard looking for a different attack, I start passing the half guard and he goes for the same guillotine. He's not following any of the guillotine fundamentals like having strong back positioning, so there's absolutely no chance it'll ever work on me. Instead, the round finally comes to an end, and Ryan loses. I've been training twice a day. Feel like I'm pizza? Still with Ryan's ass. What's that say about him? He talks his game about his wrestling, but all of his takedowns, he ended up on bottom. Let's go. So, Let's go. I mean, is that wrestling really? As mentioned, because I choked Ryan in a godly amount and made him look like he's never did jiu-jitsu, he's got to wear my special rash guard. Honestly, fuck Tyler, <laughs> but he's very handsome, and I have been spankled. Now I'm giving away a free rash guard. Go to xmarshall.com, pick your favorite design, comment it below, and mention something about the guillotine, and I'll enter you into the drawing. Otherwise, pick up some great gear from their website using promotion code TYLER10, and you can spangle somebody yourself.